Welcome to Subterra's demonstration videos for the Organizer add-in for Microsoft's Outlook 2007. There are five basic steps to getting started with the add-in. The first step is creating projects and focuses. Step two, processing your collection points. Step three, planning, which is arranging the work. Step four, execution, doing the right work at the right time. And step five, tracking, which is looking back at the work that you've accomplished. Today we'll be covering step one, creating projects and focuses. There are two ways to create and manage projects and focuses. The first way is to use the Project Explorer, and the second, to manage projects and focuses on the fly via the Outlook objects such as mail, tasks, journal entries, appointments, and contacts. Let's first talk about using the Project Explorer. Once the add-in is installed, you should see the Project Explorer button when Outlook is open. Let's click on that now. You'll notice on the menu that there's a Project menu and a Focus menu. You can add, delete, or edit any project or focus via these two menus. Let's create a new project. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's imagine that we work for a consulting firm. You can add a title for your project, and since we're a consulting firm, I'm going to let each project represent a client. We could further break down projects into clients and large projects, which might be useful if we're doing a lot of work for one client, but today we're going to keep it simple. Let's use the movie industry as a good example, and let's pretend that we consult for the movie makers and we specialize in reviewing and correcting scripts. Let's add Sony Pictures as a project. I looked on Sony's, Sony Pictures website and I noticed that they have a black and red logo. So we're gonna make their project color dark red. I'm also gonna give it a project code <clears throat> because I like project codes. They help me keep my project organized in an order that I like. In this demo, I'm not going to cover time distribution, except to say that it is possible to create projects that feed their time into other projects. This can be useful if your work doesn't completely line up with how your company tracks project time. All right, let's save this project. Okay, you can now see that the Sony Pictures project has uh, made its way into the project tree. Let's add a new deliverable for this project. Say, review the green Hornet script. All right, so you can see that um, underneath this project, it added a task called Review the Green Hornet script. Let's take a look at that. All right, so here it is, the task, and you can see it's categorized to Sony Pictures. All right, since the add-in has the ability to manage subtasks, let's break this deliverable down into a few specific tasks. You can do that through the Planner tab and we can add subtasks here. Say so the first task, subtask is load the script into the tracking system. All right, next one, review the script when prompted by the tracking system. Then what we should do is review comments by all team members. We should probably prepare a response. And then we need to send the reviewed script back to Sony. Okay, so we've got our main deliverable here. We have five subtasks. Let's go ahead and save those. And you notice now under Sony Pictures we have the deliverable and under that deliverable, we have the five subtasks. Now I'm gonna go ahead, and because I know that one of the tasks is to review, I'm gonna assume that we have about a month to, to uh, deliver this. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and schedule, in two weeks, uh, the team member review. View Green Hornet script <clears throat> with all team members. Okay, so I'm gonna open that. I'm going to assign this appointment to that project. Okay, and now I'm going to go back to the Project Explorer. I'm going to look in here, and I notice that, let me go ahead and change the way this looks. I notice that um, our deliverables there, and then also our appointment item is there, which is pretty great. All right, so let's look at this. Um, so any pick, oh, Wait a minute, that should be Sony Pictures. All right, so we need to go back up into Properties and add an S to that. 
Let's go ahead and save that. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, right. So when we change the title or the project code, and since these things are synchronized with the master category list, if you assign any categories to objects, uh, such as mail items or appointments, with that um, category, you run the risk of orphaning them. So what the add-in will do is it will actually go back and it will rename or recategorize all of the objects that were associated with the original name. So let's go ahead and do that. And it found seven Outlook items and updated their categories from Sony Picture to Sony Pictures. Okay. As you can see, Sony Pictures is there as well. <clears throat> okay. And it looks like we actually had a contact that was um, connected to Sony Pictures in our database. And we picked that back up when we moved, uh, when we uh, renamed our uh, project. Okay. Now, we could also remove projects by selecting the project and hitting the project remove, or delete rather. Um, we're not going to do that. What it does is it actually doesn't delete it completely. It simply makes it inactive. And it is possible to um, bring those projects back through the All Projects dialog that we'll cover uh, in managing on the fly. Okay, so focuses uh, basically operate the same way, however they're much simpler and have fewer properties. So I'm going to go in here and that's the focus I want to add. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that now. And I'm going to add it back. I'm going to add a focus called at morning. The reason I'm adding that focus is I actually am a morning person and I like to do my complex tasks in the morning. So I'm going to go back over here to my tasks and the one where we review the script, that's the one here, I'm going to give that focus morning. So when I go and do my planning, I'll notice that that specific task uh, is also uh, categorized to the morning context. Focuses work basically the same way as projects. You can add them, delete them, or change their properties. So in this case, if we wanted to change how this was spelled or add a bit more to it, we could do that here. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that's how we can create and manage projects and focuses via the Project Explorer. In the next video, we'll cover managing projects and focuses on the fly. You can also read about how to use the organizer in the Getting Started Guide found linked in the documentation section on the organizer product page. You can find that at www.subterra.com slash products slash organizer. Thanks for your attention. I hope that you find this add-in useful.